this engine build, I wanted to do something that is uh, obviously has plenty of horsepower, but I also wanted to do something that uh, is has the ability to be daily driven. And so I wanted to upgrade my radiator. I didn't want to run the stock fan. Uh, so I was looking on Amazon and found this company that has a radiator and a fan. Um, the company is Alloy Works. And I'm actually in the process of working on them, or working with them now to get you guys a coupon code. Um, I have a few people interested in, interested in this and are waiting on this review. Um, but today we're just going to be unboxing their radiator and fan setup. Um, I have a bunch of specs um, here for throughout the video. Uh, but to get started, I'm actually going to have my girlfriend cut this box open. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's jump into it. If you weren't so sure, I would have put it up on the table. Nailed it. So it's got staples, so you're not going to be able to cut it open. You just have to cut it up. Here. Oh. Careful, I don't want you to hurt yourself. Since your car doesn't have any. <laughs> yeah. Let me turn the table off and we can put it up here. <laughs> Are you strong enough? It's 27 pounds. Yeah, it's just unwieldy. It's not heavy. Okay. So we're up here. Oh, it's more airbags. It's more airbags. Let's pull out of the bag. Let's pull out of the bag. Uh -huh. Don't put the part in I have to. I have to put that in. You don't? Yes, I do. Because that was the important part. Okay, thank you. I didn't subscribe. No, okay, it's just a thank you card. Okay. Are you having fun? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is all going in the video. No, it's not. You want to bet? Okay. Alright, you going to grab that side of the table quick? Yeah. Center it right here. Okay. Alright guys, so this is the radiator and fan setup. Huh? Oh, yeah, this, yeah, way different quality. So this one is a, a complete aluminum, aluminum setup. Um, this one is not, I don't, I mean, I imagine this is, yeah, this one. So this is a, let me check. Yeah, okay, so this one is a four row radiator. This was only three. This is, isn't the stock one. Um, the stock one actually uh, had a hole in it, so I replaced it a while back ago. Um, but it is uh, essentially a stock one. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just a stock replacement. Um, so yeah, so this is, uh, we're gonna keep it for a little while just to make sure this one runs okay and it has no leaks. Um, so we'll keep this one off to the side for now. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do a better review of this. All right guys, uh, so uh, while I was editing this video, I noticed that I skipped over quite a bit of information that I wanted to throw in here real quick before we continue with the video. Uh, anyways, first thing you're gonna wanna know is by the price. I believe this one is like $308 or so, uh, but that's 20% off right now. Uh, most of I believe um, they keep 20% off on their website. Uh, but anyway, um, they've offered another 5% off for anyone, so you get a total of 25% off. Um, if you use the code Aries Garage, you'll get the extra 5% off, which I'll have down below. I'll have a link to this radiator, a link to their website down below. Um, and again, if you use the code Aries Garage, you get 5% off. Um, so pricing out of the way, you're going to want to know the uh, drainage on your battery with these. Each fan is 12 volts, um, which is 80 watts. Um, trying to think. Uh, dimensions are 18 and a quarter uh, inches high and, or tall um, by 31 and 5 eighths inches wide, which again fit perfectly in my Nova. Um, so, I mean, can't ask for better more. It fits, and that's all that matters. Um, it is apparently TIG welded. Um, they're really good welds from the look of it. I imagine they're done by a machine. Um, and you know, one thing that is a benefit of buying a whole kit like this is you don't have to make your own shroud. I had been looking to upgrade the electric fans for a while, uh, but I didn't have the right materials or tools to be able to make my own shroud. So I do like that this one came with the shroud complete kit, so that's awesome. Um, other thing you're probably gonna want is cooling wise. Um, it does hold uh, more coolant. I don't know exactly how much more, but it is. Um, each the sides here are definitely a lot bigger and according to them, it holds more coolant. Um, so we'll find out. Um, whenever on the you know stock engine that never had any coolant in it and you know I had the radiator completely drained and for the break-in um, I believe I put a little over four um, four gallons in of 
cool in some water. Uh, so we'll figure out if this one takes any more or less based off that roundabout idea. Um, they do say that this one provides at least 35 uh, to 45 percent more coolant or I mean they have it worded as 35 percent to 45 percent more efficient. Um, next thing you want to know is cooling wise. It does come with the sensor. Um, the sensor is, one sec I can find it here, is 3 8 MPT threads uh, and it is a brass, uh, trying to figure out how it works. Um, it is a uh, brass probe and they do say it comes with a half inch MPT adapter. But I, I did not get one that I know of. Yeah, I don't have one. I don't know. Not sure what they meant by that. Um, I have no clue. I don't know if I'm somehow supposed to use these extra ports that are included. I don't know. Um, anyways, um, it is, let's see, trying to think. Uh, the upper and lower outlets are one and a half inches. And what else is there to include? I mean, it does have your uh, transmission uh, cooler ports on it here and here. These, I'm not quite sure what they're for. I don't, I don't know. Um, and it does come with one single relay. And in all honesty, it does suck because it does not include instructions. And I was worried about this only including one relay, except for the fact I went and looked at other kits and quite a few other kits come with a single relay for the two fans. Um, I believe blue, let's see, blue goes to your battery if I remember right. Uh, white goes to your temp sensor. Uh, red goes to the blue on the fans and black is ground. Um, and I will be making an install video and I do have um, um, I do have a sort of uh, diagram for this. They don't have any instructions in that stuff, so I'm working with them on making them. And I do know how to, I got got one of them to turn on yesterday, so I know how to wire it up. I uh, just gotta make the video. Uh, but yeah, so this is also made out of high quality full T-5057 aircraft grade aluminum, um, or raw aluminum. I don't know if that makes a difference, uh, but I don't know how to tell. I mean, it's definitely aluminum, it's not like, heavy metal by any means, but I don't know about the aircraft grade. Um, but anyway, so that's most of the information I have on this. Um, they don't provide a lot of this on the uh, on the website, which I apologize for. Um, I don't know what other information they include for other fans, if they're uh, lacking on the details or not with that. But again, so this is an awesome radio radiator overall, and one of the little things I really like about it is this cap. It feels like a billet cap, um, and it's got a really nice little spring on it. And I don't know, it's just one of the small things I really like about this. Um, but yeah, so we have an electric radiator, um, or electric fan, um, so it's just definitely going to be more streetable, and so we're going to see how this turns out, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video. I just wanted to throw this in there, and don't forget to use the code down below. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Okay. Alright guys, so um, this floor is really wet. Alright, anyway, we're going to go ahead and sit this in there and just see how it fits. Now, this isn't going to be the permanent thing. This is just me seeing how well this fits compared to the soft one. Um, so, here we go. There's that. Looks to be, looks like it might be a little bit wider. But I could be wrong. I think, I think we should definitely be good no matter what. Right there looks good to me. So that definitely fits. Uh, let's see, can I... That right there. I'm gonna grab the cover real quick. Okay, all right, so we're gonna see if we can't put this cover on here and make sure there's enough clearance for everything here. I'm a little bit worried, but I think we should be okay. We're just gonna see how the cover fits. Cause this is kind of the part that holds it down. It looks like, might have to do a little bit of trimming. Maybe not though. I actually think that'll be just fine. Um, we're gonna slip in the bolts really quick. And again, this is not a proper install. There will be a actual install video coming your guys' way shortly. I just got this today and just wanted to make sure that everything was fine. And I promised them I would make an unboxing video. So we're just going to tighten these down. That is my main worry here is making sure that it sits down so I don't have to worry about it tipping over on a long drive. You know what you could use that would work really well? What? Your ratcheting wrenches. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think they fit in here. You're right, Alex. Thanks. I don't think they fit in here, dude. They don't have an angle at least. Okay. That feels pretty tight. I don't even have this one over here. It's not done yet. 
looks like the fitment is just fine, guys. There's a little bit of play over here, but I think if I do a little bit of trimming on the metal, or actually just do a little bit of bending, see, there we go. So just a little bit of, little bit of work, and it's not bad at all. Uh, you're never gonna have a perfect fit. But anyway, so this is gonna be perfect for street driving it, um, highway driving it, it's gonna help keep it cool. And hopefully I have enough clearance for this. I think I will. Um, I believe the engine sits back. So yeah, so this is gonna be perfect. And again, I will have the link down this below, and eventually I will have a coupon code for you guys. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys later.